Hey there, so we're back for episode two of Hell of a Boss, Lulu Land. That sounds, like I said last time, um, this seems like it's going to be very different from Has Been Hotel. It's going to be more episodic. Um, Lulu Land just sounds like an amusement park. I don't know, maybe like a killer roller coaster. That's my prediction. Alizheim's prediction of the day. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm excited to start this journey through Hell of a Boss. I know there's a a good chunk of episodes for us to get through um like i said last uh last video the first episode was made three years ago so we got some stuff to catch up with but i'm excited to do so and let's jump right in oh a kid Oh, Olivia's we get, we get, um, uh, he, you get it's you. <sighs> Owlman. Fia, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy. Oh, he has a Daddy. kid. I had a dream. A really bad dream. Oh. Hmm. There, there, Fia. It's okay. You're okay. When oh, you're the book. scared and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. Oh, <laughs> this is such a big contrast from the very first episode because I was not expecting him to have a kid first. Second, he's being so kind and like nurturing. I didn't expect that from someone who was so talking the way he was. In the first episode, very different, very different. Not expected, but a good, a good unexpected, you know? Good, good father, good father figure. Nice. It always seems more quiet. Wait, is this also a musical? Is this show also a musical? Is there songs? Because I love the, uh, the Has Been Hotel songs. So if these are as good as the Has Been Hotel songs, holy crap. I thought I'd finally like not moved on but had kind of like rotated my playlist out a little bit i guess we're going right back into it let's see all right <laughs> Let, let's stop pausing we're gonna rewind a little bit let's let's give them the full song okay yeah. it always seems more quiet in the dark oh. and if the seven When I'm gone, you'll be okay. This is episode two. Bruh. Are they going to kill off a character already? No shot, right? No shot. There's no way they kill off a character on episode two. Okay, I'll suspend my disbelief. Let's see. Oh. And you will be okay. Oh. Oh. You slept with an imp, and now I'm fucking mad. It wasn't expected. I didn't have time to go to the motel. A motel? Like a fucking plebeian? My world is burning down around me. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't even blame her. I don't even blame her. Holy crap. If this is what I had to wake up to every morning, yeah, same. I feel ya. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not. You are a goddamn embarrassment. I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic imp sucking face. I mean, fair. He is, I'm assuming, married. But also, it's hell. I don't know. I'm always conflicted with morals with these shows because I'm like, it's hell. Do you, do am, am I am I crazy for like kind of being like eh, I expect it you know it, it's freaking hell come on <laughs> Good morning 
morning, Octavia. Did you sleep Octavia. well, my Owlette? Is that a serious question? Mm -hmm. oh. What's that you're listening to? <laughs> this song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You, Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. <laughs> so are you two done screaming for the day? You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? Oh. I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? There it is. I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm assuming she's a teenager right now. Makes sense, you know, especially... Oh, God. I think we've all been there. And those of you who maybe are still going through the teenage phase right now or going into it, it'll happen. It'll happen. Your parents will want to reconnect and maybe start giving you... A, well, for me specifically, it was like gifts because they didn't know what my interests were at the time. Not really. They knew what they were. Like they knew I liked to draw, but they didn't know what I used. So I would get like, I would still be getting those little freaking cheap, like $10 art sets that literally no one should ever buy because they suck. You know which ones I'm talking about. Those, those sets for beginners, beginner artists. I would still get those as a teenager like in high school i would still get those gifts because i and i get it your parents are trying to reconnect with you because they feel like you're drifting apart yada 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 it's just funny in retrospect here we go anything but staying in this house now i'll arrange our security security for a theme park we are rich and we're hot people <laughs> want our money and our bodies oh money maybe <laughs> speak for yourself princess now, I'm calling the only man. Not a dad telling his daughter, I'm hot and you're not. <laughs> and who can f me? What? Who can protect me? Us. Being part of the Goisha family is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> you're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> what? What? What the? What the fuck? Dad! <laughs> Language, everyone. I have a special request. Oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for <laughs> my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, uh -oh. no, 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 no. Uh, I'm. Uh, if I had a like throw up face toggle, I would be using that right now. <laughs> Taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! <laughs> <laughs> Eminem, get in here! We're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand! <laughs> oh, she's definitely one of my... I love their dynamic. They're, I think probably the best example in this show of like two opposites attracting where it's like he looks like the straight man like nervous though and she's like go get her extrovert kind of oh, the land. what is this ad <laughs> let him in what I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now remember, Holy this is work crap. and work on. How? That's all I'm going to say. How? Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad, do we have to- Okay, yeah, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, you are so cute when you are serious. 
I'm literally going to be sick. Oh, crumbs. I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids? <laughs> ibuprofen? Morphine? That was figurative, <laughs> old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but you said it was literal. Wow! I haven't been to this place since I was a child. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh! Look! It's big, lovely. <laughs> Deeply upsetting. Yes. Oh, come on. It's fun. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me. Especially the mascots. Well, oh. hey there. <laughs> I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu Land. <laughs> if y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <gasps> Look, here. It's Lulu. <laughs> just try and sue us is probably the motto of any big corporation, huh? Go ahead. Try. You can try all you want. You're never gonna win, ever. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. Oh. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Can't wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not the yeah. Bruh. <laughs> well, again, it's hell, I guess. But oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch. I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What? I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Theo. You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Why was that kid crying? He didn't want to go in there. Oh, circus. Maybe clowns? Are we going to get a creepy clown? Time for the creepy clown character? Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully. Oh, no. oh God! <laughs> I hate, I hate that, fucking that fucking clown. clown. Oh, Blitzy! Ah. I need my bodyguard, please. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is this kid? What is? Is he alive? This looks like a goldfish demon embodiment. You look like an NPC. You're terrified. <laughs> you over here, you're too excited to be at a circus, buddy. And you're like goldfish number two. You're on some stuff. This is hell. I would not put it past like adults in hell to provide drugs for kids. There's no way. This is the look of someone who's like on LS. I, I don't actually know anything about drugs. <laughs> Is a Raleigh to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land spell with those to avoid lawsuits. <laughs> Lulu Land, Lulu Land, everybody sing along with the Lulu Band. Every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu Land. Everybody's friendly and nobody is mean. No copyright infringements ever seen. I have a dream, he has a dream. I'm here to tell, He's here to tell. about a magical fantasy. Step right up and win a thing. Not carnival games. I, I bet they're just as corrupt in hell as they are in real life. Holy crap, are carnival games such a scam? <sighs> Let's see them. Let's see if they... Maybe hell has it better? Maybe they don't scam you in hell? Oh, look, Moxie! A thing! Oh, you like that thing? Yes! <laughs> I don't really know what that thing is, but I want that thing! Okay! One game, please. Oh. Ow, nope. Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So, yeah. No go, bro. Oh, God. 
Don't fall for it. What the heaven's wrong with this thing? Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. No. <laughs> Another. Stop. Oh. Of air. I guess the kitties are still running away from you. Huh? Uh -oh, what does that mean? <laughs> Just like your audience always was when you told, told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, Ooh. I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester. <laughs> Someone salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? <laughs> That was a deep insult there. You can make fun of someone's job. You can make fun of someone's appearance. Asking someone, does anybody even love you? Holy crap. <laughs> no, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bit. Never mind. I guess that's not an insult. I guess that's that's a mortal insult for just, you know, normal people like me. Or maybe I'm just a little bitch. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow, man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your hottie here a prize. Let me try. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that! Lucky shot, baby! Are you kidding me? You, you, you <laughs> charlatan! Hey, uh, get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Oh, God, that's why. <laughs> Sir? Oh, hey, guys! You should probably go, uh, make sure Skullis is okay. I got some unfinished business to take care of. Mm. Oh, that's scary. Oh, what a mouth! <laughs> Octavia, oh. <laughs> leave me alone. Octavia. Smile. Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. <laughs> oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's busy. He's a Busy being a fool. What kind of fool? Same thing. <laughs> Everything is now on fire, kind. Oh, Octavia. Oh, even I the apple's you sad. Not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, mm. sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just... I felt she's always been, I haven't been, ha we weren't in, mm. I'm sorry, I, I don't have the words. What the heck happened? We were having so much fun. This was such a like, nothing, just like, you know, just a fun episode, a lot of cursing, a lot of like back and forth. And now we're going back to sad. Come on. <sighs> okay. As long as it ends happy, I guess it's okay. Are you going to run off with him and leave me behind? Oh. Go away where I can't find you? What? No. No. No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
He didn't even need bodyguards. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to see more of this guy and what he can do. Because that was cool. So, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Aww. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Way to ruin another good thing, sir. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> that slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> Oh, God. Another great episode. Holy crap, that flew by. Okay, it was only 16 minutes. Okay, it was it was, it was was relatively short, so it didn't fly by too quickly. Holy crap, okay. How many more characters are we going to get introduced to, though? Do we get an episode with the, the, the wolf girl? Um, does the, I, I assume the teacher isn't coming back if it's very episodic. This guy seems too important, though, for this to have been a one-off. I wonder if we'll get... Is, is he part of the main cast? Or is he going to be more of a, like, secondary character? We got a whole episode, so I don't know. I don't know. But nice ending. Nice ending. I called it, though. Obviously, it had to end with them reconciling a little bit. You know, it was nice. A nice little, like, parent child bonding during that awkward teenage phase episode. It was nice. We got a little side story too with the couple again, which I like. I need to remember their names. I think the guys is Moxie. I can't remember the girl imp's name. I need to remember. I'm going to look it up for the next one. Hopefully we'll see. <laughs> yeah. So that's the end of episode two of Hell of a Boss Lululand. A nice little revisiting to a theme park having those tropes come up like the carnival games still really pissed off those are both not both they're literally the exact it's the exact same thing as like the real like up here on earth it is no different it's hell shouldn't it be worse that tells you how bad carnival games when they don't have to change from earth to hell it's the same thing that's how horrible they are so moral of the story is don't spend on carnival. No, it's actually something about parents and children. Breaking, whatever. Anyway, great episode. Can't wait to see the next one. Um, and yeah, that should be it. Thank you to everyone that stopped by. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, or whatever time it may be where you're at. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.